tell Clint do, do, not do, do, do. to Magic cough. for normies. Hi, everybody. Um, did you guys just hear Mr. Kitten cough like the second I <laughs> went live? Wow, how um, rude. I know, right? Like, I'm pretty sure he coughed over the theme song, so I'm going to play it again. Ready? Three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Magic for normies. Magic for normies, let's go. Hey, everybody. Boom. Boom. What's up? Zuby is Yo. dabbing once again. Yes. Um, Dabs in chat. Yeah, so I'm sorry about the cough. It's not, it's not, not very COVID, professional. okay? It's just. It's not a COVID cough. It's a normie cough. It's a normie cough. So it's just allergies, you know? So it's just good old seasonal allergies. Y'all know how it is. Actually, like, do you get allergies in Florida? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I I don't... What do you mean, we, do we get allergies in Florida? I don't know. Like, do you? <laughs> my, my kids are, like, allergic to the outside. Like, like pollen and, like, seasonal yeah, yeah. allergies? Oh, my gosh. There's a crap ton of pollen here when oh. it's, like, pollen season and all that. Okay. It's, yeah, my, my car gets, like, covered in yellow sex dust. Okay. 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 Well, I wasn't sure. I mean, I've been to Florida, but like, I didn't like pay attention to the allergy levels of it. So anyways, this is not allergies for normies. This is magic for normies. What's boom, up, boom, everybody? Boom. I'm Yo, chat. Pixie Kitten. This is Zuby, and we're here to talk Wait, about magic for normies. For um, hey everybody. Hey JJ. Hey Colin. Hey Efren. Hey everybody. Hey, hey Ki Yoji. Yoki Yoji. What's First up? thing I hear is yellow sex. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry oh, about man. that. We don't know what yeah. we're doing. Um So Pixie question. Yeah. Um the chat really can't see it, but from the camera that I'm seeing from you, mm -hmm. is that a new picture of Ellie from Last of Us? It totally, Bye. totally is. And I will show the chat. Because I don't think I noticed that before. It is. Um, this was my birthday gift from Card Sphere. It was this oh. beautiful, Ooh. beautiful painting of Ellie. That's so awesome. My sweet girl, Ellie. I love her. Isn't it gorgeous? It is. It's good. I like it. Yes, it is. It's, it's like really freaking big, so you can't see it that well. So is then, it? It's it's an actual painting, not like just a picture or it, something. Or it it is a print. It is okay. a print. Um, okay. But it was painted. Okay, cool. Originally, cool. but it is a print. But it's beautiful, and I got it framed because it deserved to be framed, and it's gorgeous. And it was my birthday gift from Cardsphere. Oh no, I like it. It, it was, was not, not from, from Cardsphere. Okay. It was not from Card Sphere, everybody. Oh, okay. It was from it was. her friends at Card Sphere. It was oh. not from Card Sphere. <laughs> it was from my friends at Card Sphere. I was getting confused there. Like, what the heck does that mean? I was too. I I I phrased that incorrectly, and I do deeply apologize. It was a birthday gift from my good friends at Cardsphere. But yeah, it's gorgeous. Don't you love I it? I like it. Yes. Yeah. Sorry to distract, but I just noticed it and I'm like, ooh, is that new? It, I didn't... It, I, it's actually, it's been up there for probably a few months. My birthday was and in just, August, so. Well, maybe it's because of this camera that you're using. It's a much wider yeah, you can see Blend. it much better than everybody else can. Yeah. And I'm sure, like, now that I've moved my camera back, you, like, you wouldn't even be able to tell what it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I'm looking at the Twitch stream, and yeah, I can't tell what it is at all yeah. Yeah. from there. It's unfortunate that it's not super visible, but I'm short, so, like, I have to have the camera, like, pointing down. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Um, okay. Hey, Arizona Angels, what's up? Hey. Hey, hey, everybody in chat. What is up? So um, we are sort of having um, a little bit of a shortened episode tonight. Um, we, we have big plans for Thanksgiving tomorrow, so we got to get in bed yes. early. We got to get up in early. In bed early. 
We got, yes, we have to get in bed early. We have to be rested because we are going to be cooking for hours in the kitchen tomorrow. I mean, I am. I don't, I don't know about you, Zuby. I'll I be guess. doing a lot of cleaning. I, I'm doing all the gross stuff You're that my wife doesn't want to do. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm the cleanup crew, and okay. I got to do the, the, what is it, the... I don't know what you call the de-gutting of the turkey yes, and all that. Yeah. I, I basically got to do everything my wife doesn't want to do because it's icky or gross. And I clean, I clean up right behind her. And I feel that's like good. that's a good, it's a good dynamic because that way I don't have to do dishes later. That's a, that is a super supportive role and really important. Like as a person who cooks, having stuff cleared up out of the way as you're cooking is so helpful. So I'm sure she really appreciates that. Oh, yeah. It's something we've done, and we've only started doing Thanksgiving past couple years, and it's been fun. Yeah. Well, that's cool. This is, I, I mean, I usually do a big Thanksgiving with my family and a big Thanksgiving with my husband's family. Mm-hmm. Every year, like, we do both. Um, we'll do, like, one, one family on Thanksgiving Day and one family on the weekend, usually. But yeah. this year, we're not doing any of that because of, you know, covid so, um, yeah, yeah. I, it's just going to be me and Mr. Kitten and I'm going to be cooking a whole Thanksgiving meal. So it'll be my first time yeah. cooking, but yeah. Yeah. You, you told me what you were all cooking and that sounds like a lot of food. It's a whole, and it is a whole meal. It normally it's normally it's the four of us and, um, I'll, we'll go visit my parents the day of mm-hmm. and all that. Yeah. Because they usually have, like, a lot of big family, like, on my stepdad's side, and Mm -hmm. I usually don't like being there. Um, So, (laughs) but, um, and and usually we'll have some family friends over, too, for Thanksgiving, Mm -hmm. but we're not doing that this year. And um, so, it's just going to be the four of us, and me, Mrs. Zuby, and the Zuby kids. Mm Mm-hmm. It's going to be very different this year. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I I mean, I'm planning to do, like... um, you know, FaceTime calls and stuff with the family, but it won't yeah. be the same. It won't be the same. It won't. It won't. Well, we gotta oh, we got to be safe, so. Oh, and we're going to miss the, because uh, normally my wife and I, like for the past seven, eight years, we'll do Black Friday shopping on Thanksgiving night. Oh. Because we like to go watch the craziness. Okay. You know, just let more people watch, and we'll pick up some stuff here and there. Oh, okay. But, um, we're definitely no. i mean i know all the stores aren't even going to be open tomorrow but mm. like even on black friday itself like nope i'm not yeah. doing that no 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 don't want to do this it this year no no <laughs> um i am going to take pictures baltan i will probably have a twitter thread going with lots of pictures um so yeah i will take pictures all day tomorrow as i'm cooking I nice. I don't like Black Friday either. I've never participated in Black Friday shopping. It is just not my thing. I'm guilty of it. Yeah, I just don't like crowds. I like no. That's such oh, a Oh yeah. Off. Oh yeah. I'd oh, yeah. rather it's... pay more than try to fight a crowd of people. Or yeah, wait it's hours as, as for anything. As I've gotten older, it's definitely like I don't see the appeal of it as much anymore. It's and and now you can pretty much get anything online and it right? all of yeah. the retailers are doing like Black Friday stuff online too, so you don't have to really yeah. go out anymore. Very true, very true. Yeah. So anyways, this is not Black Friday for normies. This is magic for normies. <laughs> so, what are we doing tonight? What have you got um going on lately so usually the first thing we talk about is you know if we have any announcements or news i i really don't have any any news or any announcements anything coming up as from what i can think of like just my regular old stuff nothing special do you have anything yeah so i know last time we were on i talked before about the rss fee for magic with zuby being completely like effed and all that and yes i think think i gotta double check i think i have every single episode of magic for normies and magic with zuby up on the rss feed again um i will need to double check but i know magic for normies is fully available again Good. and um 
I think almost all the episodes of Magic with Zuby are available now. I just got to double check. Nice, nice, um, nice. Good. So for your audio listening ears, uh, if there's any episodes you have been missing, they're now available for you to download and listen to again. Sweet. And then this Saturday at 3.30 Eastern time, I will be participating in Channel Fireball's Command Fest again. Fun. Yeah, I am bringing my Teenage Mutant Ninja Otrimi deck. Ooh, okay. Mutate, mutate mechanic. I'll be playing with, uh, oh, let me pull it up. I'll be playing with Tarmocat, who's a cosplayer. Yes. Uh, Angelo Guerrero, who's the Jess guy, who's an EDH rec writer. And then okay. David McDarby, who is who works at Wizards. Oh, okay. Do you know what he does at Wizards? He's it according to his Twitter, it says he's an operations admin and part time game designer. So Okay. Cool. Whatever that means. Well that'll be fun. So three thirty Eastern this Saturday. Yes. Yeah. And yes. that is on Channel Fireball's Twitch? Yes. Okay. Yes, Channel Fireball's Twitch. And um I gotta Yeah, I gotta make sure my deck is all good. Um yeah. so I'll be excited about it being able to play some commander hopefully I do a little bit better this time compared to um last time <laughs> when playing my grun the lonely boy deck because i thought yeah. it was all going to be casual because mm -hmm. that's what the whole idea was and then some people were definitely not playing casual decks Ooh, hoo -hoo. so going a little bit stronger with my mut mutate deck okay well good i will I should be able to watch that, so hopefully I'll be in chat Sweet. cheering you on, Zuby. Sweet. I'll need some people to cheer, so chat, make sure you get the dabs in chat. <laughs> we'll be doing the Zuby dabs in chat for sure. <laughs> okay, well, that... no, that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, and Don't I, have... And me, I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. I, I've got interviews lined up for Magic with Zuby, and um, hopefully those will be happening soon, and then... Yeah, that's about it. It's it's starting to slow down a little bit with like Christmas coming up and all that. And yeah, yeah, I I I feel that way with my content like towards the end of the year, and even even with Corona, like we're not going out, we're not getting together with family and stuff. I just I don't know. I feel like I'm busier for some reason. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything special going on. I I will plan on doing a um, last year around Christmas time I did a special Christmas stream um mm -hmm. and I opened up um my card sphere secret Santa gift on that stream so if I happen to get my gift early enough I will probably do that again do a special Christmas themed stream um, Ooh, I should do the same if I get I, mine in yeah. early enough mm-hmm and I got a little like three foot pre lit Christmas tree that I'm gonna like put up over here and, oh, and cool. decorate. Um, and I got I got little like cards that look like ornaments, and I'm gonna like write all my patrons' names on them and my oh and that's my subs awesome and stuff to decorate my tree. So my patrons and my subs will get to decorate my tree. I did that. I did something pretty similar last year. So I will probably do that again. This year, closer to Christmas, so but I'm I'll announce it on my Twitter and stuff like that. I want awesome. a Christmas Carol sing along. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, that's do. what I do. Um, I, so I do a Christmas episode for Magic with Zuby every year since I've started, yeah. and I always sing a couple Christmas carols on there, even sometimes with the kids. So. Yes. <laughs> nice. That'll be fun. Something to look forward to. Yes. Yeah. Um, so let's get into our topics for tonight. What are we talking about tonight? We're talking about Thanksgiving. Of course, Thanksgiving is or, tomorrow. It's the night before Thanksgiving and all through the house. Not a turkey was stirring in Pixie or Zuby's house. <laughs> nope, those turkeys are dead. The stuffing was hung by the chimneys with care. In hopes that yams and mashed potatoes soon would be there. <laughs> wow, somebody write this down. We're getting a whole know, right? night before Thanksgiving poem. I love it. Right? I'm fucking amazing. So good. So 
so good. Y'all, please do a Twitch Sings episode before it goes away in January from Efren. All right. I don't know what this Twitch Sings thing is. Um, it's, is it like a karaoke thing? Yeah, it's a karaoke thing. Yes, it is. Wait, I why are there F's in chats? already gone away. We're, we're putting F's in chats for um, Twitch Sings going away. Oh, okay. okay. Although I thought it was already gone. But oh, who I knows? Know. I don't know. I don't do it. I, I don't, don't really do karaoke that much. I don't really. Oh, for the turkey. Oh, oh F's for F's the turkey. F's for the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, sure. For the turkey. Um, we will consider doing Twitch things. I don't know. We'll see. Efren yeah, so... highlighted the F in chat. That's pretty good. Of course he would, because he's Efren. Yeah course he would so yeah it's thanksgiving and as part of our thanksgiving episode i figured we would talk about what are we thankful for this year i mean yeah. it's been quite a year mm -hmm. it's been um quite a year for the world yes no i mean it's it's one of those where it's you know, people have hard years, you know, personally, you know, with family, whatever, you know, life things happening. But this has been a this has been a hard year for the entire world. Like it hasn't felt like this since I'll be honest, since like 9-11, mm -hmm. like where, you know, and granted 9-11 was only one day, but it was like, you know, such a tragedy that it just affected everybody in America, even the yeah. world yeah. and all that. And it's almost a similar feeling now where you're just like fuck <laughs> yeah it's, just, it's i mean not just with covid but with the riots going on i mean not not to bring politics but even that the american politics situation just it's been an insane very stressful yeah. very very stressful year it has it has but we still have things we can be thankful for yes amidst all of that so um do you want to start what are you thinking? Yeah, I'll for, start. Sadie? Start thankful for, you know, my family, uh, my wife and kids, and just us getting through this together. Yes. Um, it's been, you know, we've been stuck in this house for a while, and we have not really, all our vacation plans, just like everybody, everybody's vacation plans have all just been fucked. You know, we had pl plans to places to go and all that this year. And, yep. um, and it's been, um, it, it, it's been tough you know there have been definitely some tough days a lot of yelling some arguing because we're just trapped and feel like there's nowhere to go yeah but it's i'm thankful that you know we have each other to rely on and um you know i'm thankful for you know the this group of people that really got together this year during this pandemic including you baltan efren colin jj everyone yeah. else in chat that you know i can't think of um Kyoji, all them, you know, people who come and support our content every week and mm -hmm. every other week and all that, every time we stream, it's been, you know, and it's been, it's been helpful for making me still want to create content, right? Because mm -hmm. it's, I, you know, because th there are times where you're just, you don't want to do anything, mm -hmm. especially with like content and all that stuff. But the, the little group of friends that we have in this community, it makes it worth doing. Yeah. You know, and it's it, it's fun. It makes me want to keep going and doing more because I just have so much fun doing it. I'm also thankful for, you know, at my job, you know, because it's... Yeah, a lot of people lost jobs this year. I know, and I feel very blessed for the ability that, you know, I've been working at home since last summer. So when the whole stay-at-home order came, it didn't really affect me. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm thankful for my job and my bosses that you know really understand the the impact that this has and, and yeah i think those are the main things i'm thankful for what about you yeah oh well like you i'm thankful for you know our magic friends and our all of our discord friends and everyone that comes out and supports us and i mean this year has definitely been different but I feel like because everybody's been home and you can't really go anywhere, you know, it's like 
you become closer to the only people you can talk to who are these people yeah. online. And, you know, it's it's been it's been it's been a really mm. good year for our friendships, I think. Mm-hmm. Um and I'm I'm very thankful for you, Zuby. I'm really glad we started this podcast, even if it's oh yes, kind of a silly joke. Um, oh no, it's great though. It, it yeah. maybe it tur- started out as a joke, but it's turned into something really awesome. That you know, we have people in our chat right now that look forward to it all the time. Well, I look forward to it honestly. Yeah, like, me too. I love it. I'm really glad we started it. I'm very thankful for you, Zuby, for doing this with me and wanting to be a part of it. I really enjoy it. Um, you made so, me get a pie thrown in my face. I know that was fun, right? That was it was fun. hilarious. Yes. It was hilarious. Um, I am so I'm really thankful for Spell Table. Um, yes. I think it has been such a great thing for this year and for everybody to be able to come together in a super convenient way because, like, it's kind of hard to play. Um, it's kind of hard to play EDH on Discord. Like, Spell Table is just so oh, yeah. easy and so convenient. Um, I, I've played more Magic this year in a very long time. Yeah, and for sure. L- let's be honest, you and I have talked. It's like, Arena's good, but it's definitely not enough to make me want to keep playing Magic for a long time. You yeah. know what I mean? It's it's a totally different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Spell table, I'm very thankful for spell table. Like it could not have come out at a better time. It's just been so great this year. Um, of course, my family, my home, things like that. I, I was kind of keeping mine like within the realm of magic. Um, <laughs> my, my last big thing that I'm thankful for is card sphere. I really, I really love card sphere and I really appreciate, um, all of the guys at Card Sphere, they just like support me. I uh, like without fail, like no matter what I do. However, you know, if I don't do anything for a while because I'm just not feeling it, or if I want to do something weird and random, they're just like, who cares? Do whatever you want. You're fine. We're still here and we're supporting you. And I'm just really appreciative of Cardsphere and very happy to be a part of their group. And I love them and I'm so very thankful for Cardsphere. Yeah, and I, I know that we're both sponsored by them, but even I can say, you know, I've only been sponsored by them for what, little over a month now, I think. And um, mm-hmm. it's e- even before then, you know, I was friends with all the people with Cardsphere, the, the, the brains behind the Cardsphere site and all that and they're they've always been great people they're always very supportive and have been you you know wonders for the magic community yeah i will say yeah they're good people yes um yeah so that's it i'm thankful for everybody in our chat right now (laughs) jj baltan efren not efren no i'm thankful for efren (laughs) everybody everybody we are so thankful for you we love y'all and we appreciate you guys so much and we do this for y'all and we we are just so happy to have you guys here Yes, we're very thankful for it. Yeah, so tell us what you, what y'all are thankful for in the chat. Yeah, put in chat anything that you're thankful for. Um, could be anything, you know, magic related or not, or yeah. um, whatever. Tell us how tell us how great we normies are. You know, do it. Tell us, we, please. We we need we to know. We want to know. Okay. <laughs> we know we're we know how great we are, but we want y'all to tell us how great we yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. We we already know. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Cardi B, thankful uh, for Cardi. Thankful for Cardi B. She is Oh my gosh. A, she is a godsend for sure. You you're you're talking about her new song Wireless Access Point. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that stands for? Yeah, the W A P, the WAP. Um, Gotcha. Yeah, wireless access point. Yeah, I, I can't sense. believe she made a song that's something that's related to what I do for work. She's you such know? a nerd. 
nerd. Like, who knew? Yeah. An IT nerd. <laughs> Not me. I didn't know. I'm totally I know, surprised. right? It's crazy. Yeah, it is. It's crazy. Who knew? Um, oh, man. Yeah. So I, I, I think gratitude is really important and it helps keep, yeah, it helps keep you grounded. So it's nice to think about it on Thanksgiving, but, um, I try to practice gratitude on a regular basis. So I think y'all should too, maybe if you want, maybe, (laughs) maybe, maybe if you want, um, maybe it's, yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. I try, I try to make sure I always count my blessings and understand, you know, how lucky, you know, we really we are. have it because it's, it could be a lot worse and just understanding where a lot of people come from and, you know, understanding their life path and how not everyone has the same opportunity and chances that others have. And, you know, it, it really, it really puts things in perspective that, you know, you've had a lot of people around you that help you get to where you are. Yes, I agree. JJ says he is thankful for this group of weirdos. It's like we're always hanging out in each other's games. It's the equivalent of having neighbors. Yes. Yes. And Efren says it's important to express it outside of Thanksgiving, too. If you're mindful of it, it makes a difference to the people. Mm-hmm. True. Very true. Mm-hmm. Yep. JJ is also thankful for the group that has formed around the awards, the content creator awards. Super supportive That's positive right. group that just wants to make them fun. Yes. Thank you, JJ, right. for putting that, that together. It is pretty fun. It, JJ, we need to, uh, I need to get you on Magic with Zuby again so you can start uh, advertising your content creator awards show for next year. Yeah. It's going to be here before we know it. Jeez. It really is. We're like at, we're like towards the end of November right now. Can you believe that? We've only got a few days left in November. Holy shit. It's wild. It's wild. Oh my God. Yeah. We only have like five days left. Yeah. Ugh. I know it's weird. Okay. Enough of this mushy gushy stuff. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about some real stuff. Let's talk about some like, real stuff. Like, like, what did we do last night? Like, what did we do last night? We mm, played Commander mm. Legends. That's what we did. Legends. Commander Legends. Oh, Commander where's my deck? Legends. Where's my deck? And I had this is my Commander. Mmm, Amareth. If the camera would focus. Amareth. No, it doesn't want to focus because... Here's my deck. Fuck you, camera. It, it has such a hard time focusing on cards. Here were Your my Commanders. deck was crazy. I was scared of your deck from the very beginning. Why? I thought it Tell was it trash. And fa- it has such a good pairing. Um, I, th- I know, right? Who knew? <laughs> Not me. Not me. <laughs> I think I lost your video on my side. But anyway, we'll keep talking. Okay. Um, cause you're, but so, you know, I, I was really trying to think about it. You know, God, I... Like, when I look at my deck, hold on, I'm trying to see, like, I had removal, but holy crap, I was not drawing any of it. I was so trying to draw some removal to get rid of that horse. I can't believe, uh, like, both of my commanders stayed out pretty much the entire time. I bounced one of your commanders back, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yeah, and... My computer is making beep, beep, beep noises. Uh-oh, Ooh. did you break it? No. It's something is going on with with the web with my second webcam. Oh. So, and it froze your video up for a second, so I'm just going to unplug it. So I'm sorry you're not going to be able to see me on the Discord webcam. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. No, I mean I still see my video on the stream. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you just like froze up for a second, and my computer okay. made made its little window noise. Yeah, but anyways, you bounce you bounced one of my commanders one time. And then the rest of the time, they were just both out there the whole time. And I was like, why isn't anybody killing them? Oh, my God. Baltan, he was playing Nevenroll and should have board wiped. Like, that would have gave he us really, a little bit really, of a fighting chance. Yeah. But my both of my commanders have such low casting costs. Like, I could have easily recast them multiple times. Yeah. Uh, but it was a good deck though. It was good. Um, <laughs> I I probably should have taken more time with like trying to add stuff to my deck, but eh, Honestly, I, I just wanted to. Pl- I don't. 
I wanted to play the commander so bad, though. Yeah. I don't think that my deck itself was good. It's just that my my commander combo happened to be just, like, super powerful. And nobody did anything about it. When I was just like, mm. okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a really good partner pair because they really work well together because of the menace and death touch and... Um, it was so uh, nice. Baltan saying you were more valuable alive, which it, it does make sense from, from Baltan's point of view because he wanted to take me and I, Colin out. I was, yes. And um, it was just, oh my god, my deck, I thought I put more permanents in than I did, but holy crap, I had nothing but instants and sorceries in my hand, and it was all like draw cards. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you feel about commander legends overall just like building a deck maybe not like the specific was, deck you built but the whole it process. was fun i i had a lot of fun just trying to come up with uh just trying to come up with the you know what commanders that i want to do and yeah. um it, it just felt i want to do it again that's why i saved that other box mm -hmm. to i didn't want to open the rest of it because i want to do it again with you all yeah. you know I, I felt like everybody's, I didn't feel like anybody's deck was like way overpowered more than anyone else's. Yeah, like yeah. My, my deck certainly was not more powerful than y'all's. It's just that nobody took out my, my commanders. And so I they tried. got like really out of hand. I tried. You did? I did. You're the and only trying, person. You bounced one yeah. of mine. Everyone else was just like, oh, they're fine, I guess. Or or we're just going to keep them tapped. Yeah. Like, that doesn't help. Doesn't help. Uh, but, um, no, I mean, it, it was, yeah, I have to say, even though you won, like, your deck didn't feel oppressive. No. Or anything. No. You know, yeah, like, it no. didn't feel, it was unbeatable. Right. It was just, you had a very fast start. And that was it. Like said, yeah. If we had taken care of your commanders earlier, it would have definitely slowed you down. Yeah. I feel like, um, I kind of feel like the three of y'all have a lot more EDH experience than I do. And I feel yeah. like what you guys did was you built more of a typical EDH deck. It was slower, there was bigger stuff in it. So you had a slower start. You had to get more man out. You had to do some sense. ramping. And I didn't. Like, I put a lot of small creatures in my deck. Both of my commanders were low casting cost. And I was just able to really get them out there going, like, right away. That, that makes sense because thinking it over now, there aren't a whole lot of board wipes in this set that you're going to come across in sealed or even draft. Mm -hmm. um, and that might be the way to go is like either go super aggro or mm -hmm. sort of mid range and go wide. Yeah. What? The PS5 sold out in less than five seconds. Dang it. Oh my God. Dang it. I didn't get my, um, I didn't get my PS5. Dang. I know I spent, I've been trying. No luck. So have far. you really? Yeah. Oh, you have? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't tried one not, bit. This is not PlayStation for normies. This is Magic for normies. I'm not going to get one till next year. Yeah, I'm I'm just, I've given up pretty much. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I just like both of my commanders were su super aggro-y and it, it just, I don't know, it just worked out. Yeah, I mean, you definitely had me and Colin both playing the same commander that is definitely way slower. Yes. And, um, then I really, really thought Baltan was gonna do more board wiping yeah. with Nevin Roll. That's why I was dreading it. Like, but mm -hmm. he didn't, which I, 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 I'm a bit surprised, but I get, I understand why though. Yeah. Well, and he he had a bunch of creatures out at one point too. Yeah, I mean, the not five like zombies a ton, ton, and shit. But yeah, a bunch yeah. of zombies, handful of zombies and stuff. Freaking so many. Yeah. So, but it was really fun. I felt. Like, I mean, honestly, I felt like I could have gone so many different directions from the six packs they opened. Like, oh, I could yeah, yeah, yeah. probably yeah. build a, an entire additional different deck with all of the cards that I didn't use from the six packs I opened. There's just, like, so many. Um, So I just feel like there were a lot of options. And it wasn't even, like... I don't know. It didn't feel like a typical sealed thing where it's like, oh, this is the clear way to go. 
Yeah, yeah, like where you're stuck on one or two colors and that's it. Right. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. Um, I, I, I can't wait to do this again next time because now that I know a little bit better on, you know, different ways on what to do and... And it seems like, um, it seems like the partners feel a lot stronger than maybe just going straight, you know, one commander, three color, you know what I mean? Yep. It gives you, you know, gives you more option. And I haven't really ever played with partner before, but... Yeah, neither have I, to be honest. But I, I really liked it. I really liked it. I mean... I my mine just both worked really well together. I don't I don't know what it was, but they both worked really well together. And they're yeah, like and both familiars, so it was kind of like they were meant to go together. Yes. Yes. And so when so after the after our sealed stream, I um I opened up a box. I opened up another box, um, and I got the two cards I wanted the most. Rograk and Falthus. And I'm building these as I'm gonna take apart my Croxa deck and this is gonna be my new Rakdos deck. Oh nice. But like not it won't be like discard though, right? No, no, no. This is gonna be I'm gonna build it more Voltron. Okay. Where I'm gonna get like a bunch of equipment and auras and stuff, enchantments and whatnot. Okay. And try to equip it more on Rogark and right. the cat is just gonna be his pet. Right. Just be hanging out there to give him yeah. menace and death touch. Yes. yes. I mean, he already, he's already got menace himself. Oh, okay. But the but the death touch will be very so nice. very important. So with, nice. With the death touch and trample, be so nice. Ooh, trample. Yes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, I'm excited to open more packs because I know me too. I, I'm looking at that box that I didn't finish open. I'm like, I want to open it now. I but know. But then I will. But I also want to play again too. Well, that is exactly <laughs> where I'm at. I'm like, I'm like, I want to open the rest of this box on stream. I want to open these cards, but I want to play them. Like I want to build I more know. decks with them. So I guess we got to do it again soon. Box. Oh, I know. Ugh. I know. I know. I'm I'm trying to save some of my money for Kaldheim because I at least want a box or two of Kaldheim. Yeah. And that's coming out before we know it. It's um, gonna be here very soon. Oh, and we don't have this on the show notes, but like there was an entire new set of secret layers that were released oh, like yesterday and today. That's right. There was like a death metal one, a uh the, oh God. the squirrels one. Yeah, the squirrels, um crap, what else? There there were several different art ones. Yeah, there, there was the, wasn't there like a Bob Ross one there too? Was the, there was a Bob Ross one, yeah. There was a Seb McKinnon one. Um, I guess I could pull it up. I'm trying to find the the Twitter. What's the what's the MTG Secret Layer Twitter? It's MTG Secret Layer, like literally. That's it. Okay, well that's a little <laughs> bit too hard to to find out. That's All right. literally it. Okay, let me pull it up so we can look at it. I wish they had it up on their website so I didn't have to like share my Twitter screen, but. Oh, they don't have it on the website yet? No, it just, I think it just says, like, coming soon. Oh, yeah, they did the artist one, which has a bunch of artifacts in it. The Bob Ross one. Oh, it is on the website. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Oh, oh, they do have it on the website now? Okay, I'm going to share my screen. So we can uh, all look at there. it together. Yeah, okay, oh, so crap. it's called Secret Versary 2020. It's the one year anniversary of Secret Layers coming out. Has it, it's already been a year? Yep. Oh, dang. Apparently. Okay, we want to look at these. Oh my god, these are expensive. Oh, there was... Okay, so there was a box of rocks, which was all the mana rocks. That's a cute name, box of rocks. Yeah, that one, that one was kind of cool. And these have really interesting art as yeah, well. Yeah, they do. They're all so different, which I really like. I just, I like, I like different art styles. I, I like the commander sphere with the frog. Yes, that one's cool. And all that yeah. chromatic lantern's cute. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the gilded lotus with the, the angel. Mm -hmm. Is that, are her wings on her head? Yeah, they're kind of weird. That is weird. Yeah. So there's a box of rocks. Then there's 
the Seb McKinnon one. Oh, that's right. That's right. Seb McKinnon's getting his own secret layer. Yeah, gosh. <laughs> the, and these are beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. If there's a secret layer I'd want, this would probably be it. Yeah. That damnation is gorgeous. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so good. Even also, that Sour of Temptation like is like... I need that card. People always talk about it. It's really good in a in like Alenda or um, yeah, or even Corvald or something. Yeah, I mean the art on all of these is just so amazing. Ooh, I like that a lot. Ooh, even the swamp, which seems kind of random, just like one swamp. And, and it's got a weird frame to it too. I guess. Yeah, I don't. Oh, know. oh, oh. Okay, never mind. It's I, I was looking at it wrong. It's like a. Full art it's frame. A full art, so. Yeah, it's like a full art. Um, this oh, we just had a bot in chat, chat. Asked me if I wanted to be famous, and like. Uh, too late. We already are. Yeah. So excuse get me. Get out of here. Know who you're talking to? <laughs> Hello. Okay, so then there's the Bob Ross one. Happy little gathering, and it has two of each land type, but they are all different arts. Um, and they're gorgeous, obviously. Ooh, I love the, the forest arts. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. Yeah, they're pretty. They're very pretty. I haven't watched any Bob Ross in a while, but man. Oh, uh, my so oldest chill. was obsessed with Bob Ross. He is so cool. I like the swamps. I mean, I'm partial to swamps, but like these, yeah. are, these are just so pretty. They are. They, they, they're they gorgeous. And they don't look all, like, mucky and gross, you Right. Know? They just look kind of, like, fallish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, those are those are very pretty. Um, okay, so... Oh, and the Party Hard Shred Harder. Okay, that's the metal one. This one is very interesting, right? These are, these are super different. Yeah, I like the art on them. But I'll be honest, like I said in our Discord, um, I don't like them because it to me, it's they're very hard to read. Like if we if someone were to play these over spell table, it'd be very hard for me to read and understand what they are and what they do. Well, it's not like you can read any card over spell table anyways. Like True, true. It's I, would, I get that. You would you know, you could potentially click on it if it was the regular version of a card yeah and see it but even like we were talking about last night there's a bunch of the um there's a bunch of the commander legends cards that are not on spell table yeah so yeah you're you're having to ask your opponent what's the name of the card or ask them to repeat it or spell it or whatever anyway so yeah. i don't really feel like this is that different no no and, and i see what you mean with that it's i like the art on them but i I personally probably wouldn't get these, but these are good aesthetic, though, especially for, you know, those 80s metal album covers. Yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I I like, um, I like the, the, like, casting cost, how it's just kind of, like, randomly in there as a part of the art on some of these. I think these are really cool. Oh, yeah, like, some of the framing is cool. Like, if I had to choose one that I like the most, it would probably be Decimate. Yeah. Because just the look of that is pretty cool looking. Yeah, they're, they're definitely different. They're definitely different. Yeah, and I think this is what Secret Layer needs to be and mm -hmm. keep being, is cards like this that people who love, you know, this kind of aesthetic, you know, yeah. great, awesome. Yeah. You know, and yeah, I think I, they're doing a great job doing that. Yeah. They're they're specialized. They're they're definitely for a specific group of people and if you're not in that group, I mean, whatever. What no harm done. <laughs> you you just don't get them, you know? Yeah, like like for me personally, this would not be something I'd want, but yeah. for people who like it, awesome. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. I think they, you know? I think they're very much like what what a secret layer is meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and then the last one is, we hope you like squirrels. And of course, we do like squirrels because who doesn't? Yes. Um, maybe like a monster. Squirrels are great, right? Look how freaking cute they are. 
So one of these squirrels, um, which one is it? Oh, hold on. Let me try to find the art for it. So if you, yeah, if you, if you look at the, look at the flavor text for squirrel mob, um, it reads, I barely escaped with my life at that number. They could take on Emrakul herself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's squirrel mob great. gets it... plus one, plus one for each other squirrel on the battlefield. Is there a squirrel tribal? Yes, there, there is squirrel tribal. Okay. Well. Apparently. You want the squirrel mob for that, right? Yes. I love it. Chatter of the squirrel. Oh, that was cute. Squirrel wrangler. That's cute, too. These are just all so great. Okay. Yeah. Crows and beast is kind of scary. Crows and beast. It's a squirrel beast. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hard. man. That is, I love it. It's it's a cute scary. The squirrel token is freaking adorable. Like, this is the number one ranked cute squirrel in all of magic art right here. You think so? Squirrel token, yes. Oh, uh, you know, we're, on, on a future Normies episode, we we're going to have to do them. yes, yeah, r r rank squirrel cards. See if that is a is the uh cutest squirrel to or squirrel card out there that, you know what that is valid because i probably haven't seen every single squirrel that there is i mean i don't i can't recall all the squirrel art off the top of my head but it could very well be close to if not the cutest squirrel art it's that's out there pretty dang cute that's yeah for sure yeah, so secret layers, more of them coming out. They're just happening all the time. I like yeah. most of these, so I don't know. I... Is there any of them that you're for sure going to pick up? Um, what, what were the options? I really like the Bob Ross ones. And I know that, I know like they're just lands, so it's kind of like, eh. You're getting the least yeah. bang for your buck with those. But I really like the Bob Ross ones. I, I really like a box of rocks too, honestly. Yeah, the art on those is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. It's, I don't know. It's I, I keep saying that I'm going to pick up this secret layer and all that. And then I completely forget about it when it releases, you know? Yeah. Because I forget ex it exists. And then you miss your chance and boom, that's it. Yeah. Um, Like I really wanted the extra life one and then I completely forgot all about it. Oh, um, shoot. <laughs> so it's for me, it'd probably be the Seb McKinnon one because I love the art on those. Those yeah. are great arts. Yeah, those are those are great. I, I agree with that. I like I honestly like really like all of them. So we'll see. Maybe I will put them on my Christmas list. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Then Mr. Kitten can pick some of them up. Not that they'll be in by Christmas. We know that. I know, right? But hey, you can get an IOU from Santa Claus or something. Right. Freaking. <laughs> yeah. So... Oh, man. I think that's a lot of it for the, the big magic news, right? Because we I talked about so. Commander Legends, which we are going to be scheduling again. I, I want to get... I want to, I ha we have to do another Commander Legends sealed. It was so much fun. It really was. Um, it really was. It, it, it involves both my favorite formats, Limited and Commander. Yeah. And I think it worked <laughs> out pretty well. So. Yeah. I, I really hope that they do another Commander Legends set after this one. Because it'll just be freaking awesome. Do you, th I mean, I'm sure they will. Like, oh, yeah. Because this one's got to sell like gangbusters here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about, let's do our Q&A thing next. Great. Okay. So hold on. Let me pull up. Yeah. We got a bunch of questions and then I don't know if you, I don't think Total MTG tagged you on this, but he also asked a question as well too, just to okay. me though. Gotcha. I think you forgot to tag it on the main thread. That's fine. Yeah. I didn't see that one. Um, okay. Yeah, so I sent um, a tweet out on Twitter asking 
for everybody to send us your questions and we are going to answer them on the next Magic for Normies. So we've got a bunch of questions here to answer. Do you want to start with your total MTG one? Yeah, let me start with that one first. Um, okay. Pretty short question. He asked, Total MTG asked, what is the best colored magic and why is it blue? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't believe the best color in magic is blue. Mm, but I it is. I think that it is a black. And why is that? Um, because it has all of the cards in the play style that I enjoy. <laughs> like oh man i mean that's pretty much all there is to it you you like sacrifice i do i love some sacrifice well, what's some other things that black is known for y using your life as a resource i do i love using my life as a resource yep and what else um i mean it's got vampires zombies especially vampires yes yes um, yes yes so okay okay yeah Bl Blue for me is mainly because I like to draw cards and I like to tell people no. Because okay. I'm so used to, I'm so used to doing it to my kids. <laughs> You're just like I just want to do this in every aspect of life. So yeah, no, no, that's no. gonna be a no. No, sorry. Do you like when your kids ask you something? You're are you like in response? <laughs> No. No, I've gotten so good that I can cast a counter spell at them without paying any mana cost by just giving them a stare. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. What does the stare look like? Can you do it? Oh god, I don't know if I can do it. It's 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 so You have to. It's like <laughs> I'm just gonna crack to. up laughing. Like, I can't, I can't. It's just try it. I, all I'm gonna do is just smile like if I'm wearing a mask, like, I can't, <laughs> fuck, I can't. You can't, I can't. you can't, you totally can't. Okay, I'm going oh, to try to do a stair face, too. Well, I can't see it. I, uh, you need to fix your camera. I, I can't because you're on, oh, that's pretty good. And I'm, I, I feel like I'm not <laughs> doing it correctly, though. I'm, I'm not getting the, the, uh, get one of them off camera to yell at. <laughs> No, they're being very good right now. Zoe, they're... Zoe, come in here and do no. something annoying. No, no, they're 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 both getting along and being good right now. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> let's leave them. Let's leave them be. Okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um. Yeah. Okay, so that question was. <laughs> Listen, Thank you, Total, the for the amazing question. Thanks, Total. Thanks, buddy. Okay, let's go on to another question. Let me pull up. I don't have my tweet pulled up. Uh, one second here. Okay, we have a question from Colin. Where do you see magic in five years? What is the new overarching storyline? Who is the big bad? New card types. What about your relationship with magic? Still doing content? Is the content oh, a lot of questions? I know, right? When will Magic for Normies be fully immersed 3D virtual reality experience? <laughs> okay, well, I want to start. In in five years, I see myself and Zuby. We we will be the number one MTG YouTubers and or the number one MTG Twitch streamers, and it will be. Magic for Normies and Wizards of the Coast will be trying to hire us to consult with them on their new set. Um, they are going to have to pay me a shit ton of money for me to even want to leave my job for that to happen. Well, we can do it. We can do it part -time. remotely. Yeah, um, remotely, part time. I, I, I would do I, I, on my time, not their time. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, we're in like, charge of this. Yeah, we're in charge of the time, you know. Yeah. At that least one spend. hour a week, and I get paid, you know, minimum five thousand dollars an hour. <laughs> That's what I charge. Sorry. For magic consulting, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mi minimum. Well, I think we've got a good start because you know, 
Um, we had Gavin on with EDH for Normies recently. Yeah. So we've got our foot in the door. I mean. Yeah. And he, he reached out to me asking, like, if we would do some consultant work. And I'd be like, Gavin, come to us in five years. OK. Yeah. We're, we might have time then, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I'm I'm just not interested right now. Yeah. We're, we're I was I was I was looking at some, you know, Blizzard card game. Blizzard came knocking on our doors and talked about something about Hearthstone, Hearthstone, I don't know. Yeah. Some other exactly. weird game. No. Um I I I assume I'll be making magic content in 5 years, but I really don't know. I mean, who knows? Yeah, it, it's right? it's it's hard to tell cuz yeah. sh- shit, I'll be almost 40 in like 5 <gasps> years, fuck. Oh god. Yeah. Old. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Um, what about Magic so, itself, like the game in five years? It's still going to be around. I mean, it's... well, he he says what will be the overarching storyline? Who is going to be like know. the big bad guy? I I like after War of the Spark, like when they captured Nicobolus, I kind of stopped paying attention to the story altogether. I um, mean, I guess. My guess would be it'll probably be all new characters that we won't even we don't even know of right now. Which would be nice because it'll be a nice change if there's like new bad guys, new enemies, instead of just using the same old stuff over and over again. Yeah. You know? Well, I I mean, I'm saying like, oh, there'll probably be new ones, but maybe not because even like, you know, like World of Warcraft, you kind of cycle through like the same, the same bosses and stuff, right? Like they're going back to all this ice you know. s- sort of stuff right now. Uther is a bad guy right now. Like, holy shit. Yeah, so who knows? Who knows? Okay, who's who's good right now that might be bad in five years and could be, like, like the big evil person? Chandra. <gasps> oh, you think she's going to go off the rails? Who knows? I mean, she's very impulsive. That's a good guess. That's a really good guess. Yeah. I couldn't yeah, Bolt and anything. Uther is a very old character. He was in Warcraft Three. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, sorry. This, this we could turn this into WoW for normies. So. <laughs> <laughs> Kyoji says Vivian. 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 Ooh, that could be. That would be interesting. But the, the only thing I'd have against the only thing I'd have against Vivian, it, it'd feel very much like Garrick or Garuk or however you say his name, is um, he... because he he was the Green Planeswalker who went bad and started killing other Planeswalkers. Oh. And she's now, like, the Green Plains Walker, so... Oh, the, we don't want the same thing. Yeah, we kind of want... So I, that's why I was saying, like, maybe Chandra. Mm. That would be interesting. What if it was, like, um, a Johnny? What if a Johnny just goes evil? That would be very out of character and very interesting. I know, right? I know, right? It would be wild. Like, someone took his catnip away and <laughs> just starts going insane. <laughs> just trying to think of like who's the most good character right now and that's that's who i thought of. a johnny yeah or ooh, even elspeth if El- elspeth went evil ooh, like like her escaping from the underworld just made her go evil or something like that maybe who knows? that could be cool yeah. i like that yeah so uh, so to answer your question colin we have no idea and we can't yeah. make any good guesses because we're just normies yeah i I, I was following the magic story for a while there, and I kind of stopped. I, I just, I'll be honest, I kind of don't care about it that much anymore. <laughs> I know that that's bad of me. It's like, yeah. I don't care. It's, Sorry. You don't, have, you don't have to care about it. I've never cared about yeah. magic lore, so it's okay with me. Let's go on to another question. Um, so Andy asks us, Andy Flowery asked us, what is your favorite card released since last Thanksgiving? So what cards, Um, let's see. So what sets would have been out? So from last Thanksgiving, it would have been Ultimate Masters, but that's a complete reprint set. Then it would have been Theros, Ikoria, um, Core Set 2021, the Commander Ikoria, than Zendikar. Oh, god. And then now Commander Legends. Oh, my god. So. I don't like any of those cards or sets. What? There's not a single card that you really liked out of it? Um, I hate them all. I was going to oh say Oh, my gosh. Portable. I have no idea. 
but that was that was before. Yeah, that, that was before Thanksgiving last year. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. I'm sure there's one. I'm sure there's yeah, one. Yeah, it's. Okay, so the the Soren. Oh, you know, Soren I've, I've got that a I card. Like wasn't in in this at that was from M20, not M20. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no. So I'll say one of my favorite cards that was released this year was Otrimi, the Mutate Commander. Oh. It was a good one. That was a good card. I wouldn't say my favorite, but that's just one I can think of off the top of my head that I really liked. Um, I mean, I really didn't care for for Theros or Ikoria. Was there any good vampire cards? I don't think so. Oh, God, I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> I can't Ask remember. Ask us this question next year when Innistrad is out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we'll have a lot more, a lot more answers next year. Because D and D will be out too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The, the sets that came out this this in 2020 have just not really been my. Oh, what about the Nightmare game. Cat Falthus? Well, yeah, I like Falthus. Sure. Does that? So count? that was a card you liked. Okay. I mean, I mean, there we go. Oh, the the Nighthawk Scavenger. That that's the one you like kicked our asses with in that okay, one game. Okay, Nighthawk Scavenger. Yes, yes, yes. Thank but you, but would you say would but would you say that'd be your favorite? I don't know. I, I I'd have to really look at all the cards and figure out what my favorite would be. I would too. I would have to like go through them. Yeah. That was a tough question. Maybe we should have looked. Maybe we should have looked ahead and been prepared. Oh, veto. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Balsan. But yes. was wasn't veto Throne of Eldraine? No. No. What was veto? Veto. Veto was um. Is that corset? Uh, M twenty one, I believe, right? It was Vito corset twenty twenty one. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, Vito was M twenty one. I just looked him up. Yeah, and you I loved think. Vito. I do. You I loved love, Vito. I do love Vito. Yes, definitely Vito. Okay, my answer is Vito. Okay, there you go. There you go. Yep. I'll say mine is Otrimi for now until I figure out what card I actually liked. Okay. Well, there we go. Our next question from JJ. JJ has a lot of questions. Actually. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, number one. Between you, me, and Magic Wazubi, who can hold their breath longer? That's me. Okay. <laughs> Probably not me. I don't know. I, I don't know either. I can't hold my breath very long. Do you want to try it? Oh, God. And sh should I put on a timer? Yeah. <laughs> Do you I mean, actually we'll, we'll want to try sit this? Here for like two minutes, not breathing. I know, right? Let's I see. if I can even last a minute. Okay, let's just All do right. it. Ready? Three, two, uh, one. <gasps> do 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 do. Magic for normies. I give up. I'm laughing. It's Zuby. Zuby wins. Zuby wins. I. I think. I. You know. I think I had a bit of an advantage because you didn't see me. I couldn't see you, and yeah. I was like closing my eyes, like trying not to look. Yep. Yep. Because I knew I would have cracked up if I had looked. You did. You totally did. Oh my god. So we lasted. I. So I lasted thirty seconds. Point thirty point eighty three, and you probably like a little bit before. For that or something. You made me laugh, know. Zuby. You cheated. Yeah, that, that, that one's pretty tough. Okay. I, I feel like I had a little bit of an advantage you on did. that one. Okay, so the answer to that one was Zuby. Okay, the next one from JJ. What's the weirdest, coolest pair of shoes each of you own? Oh, I can show you in a second here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's getting them. All right, so I literally just bought these shoes, but I can't really wear them because I need to get some inserts in them. Oh. Um. These some Adidas shoes. They look fucking Those nice are and sweet. Those pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Pretty slick. Yes. 
say a little dirty on the bottom. They're only but... a little dirty. They look pretty fresh, honestly. I've only worn them once because I need to get some uh, Dr. Souls inserts or whatever. Yeah. Whatever you call them. Yep. Um, I don't have any very cool shoes. I'm not really it... into shoes, so. Neither am I usually, but we were going shoe shopping for my, my wife needed some new shoes and I happened to be with her. And then I saw these pair of shoes and I'm like, Oh my God, I fucking love these. I They're want pretty them. cool. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I, I'm want... usually not one into shoes. Mm -hmm. You won that one too. There you go. So he <laughs> also asked chat. if you had a superpower, what would it be? Hmm. Maybe to teleport. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. You can be anywhere instantly. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, it's, cause, you know, like, I love Star Trek. And, you know, they have the, the hol not the holodeck, the uh, the the transmitters that, um, that you know, t teleports people. Yeah. And all that stuff. I, I, I'd want that because then I would never have to drive again because I hate driving. That is, that is a really good idea. That would be a very nice superpower. And you would never have to fly again either. Yeah. It, that would be super convenient for sure. Yeah. Um, what I about would, you? I was going to say I wanted to be invisible. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Just so I could be alone and away from people without see without them seeing me. Hmm, would you do some bad stuff while being invisible? No, like, no, 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 no. No. Like robbing a bank or something? No. Or? No, no. I I just want to be in a place and not have people looking at me. Okay. Okay. This is getting weird. This is getting weird. Okay, we're going it's getting, to the next it's getting question. Getting a little bit deep. Getting we're a little bit deep here. Question. We're going to the next question. <laughs> hey, Sloth Water, thank you for the follow. Even after, Oh, thank you for the follow. Even after my weird answer about wanting to be invisible. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. Um, so the last question from JJ, do you like your pickles, sweet pickles or dill pickles? Sweet pickles. I, I like dill pickles. I'm trying to think, well, yeah, I, th I think I like them sweeter. Oh, shit, what are the pickles I always get? I don't fucking know. I mean, I like both of them, but if I have to pick one, I would pick dill. No, I think I get dill pickles. Zuby. I, I don't know. You don't no, even no. know what kind of pickles you like. Okay. No, no, no. I do. I do. It's the kosher dill Clausen pickles. Okay. Yes. I, I found I found the bottle. Okay. So it would be dill. It dill. would be dill. Okay. So we're both on the we're both on the dill train here. I, I, I thought they were sweet pickles, but they're not. Okay. 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 Good. 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 Th these are the only kind of pickles I like. Well, there you go. Dill pickles. We like dill pickles, JJ. Um, okay, we are moving on to our next question. This one comes from Kelzam. Um, he says, even though it's far away, are there any specific elements from Forgotten Realms and Dungeons and Dragons that you're excited to see on a card or cards this summer? This is really a yes. question for you, Zuby, because I'm not yes. into Dungeons and Dragons as much as you are. So... Even though it's only going to be Forgotten Realms for d and I definitely want to see Tiamat on a card, who is like the dragon queen goddess Ooh. of the Forgotten Realms. She's a five-headed dragon, and um, she's also appeared in other uh, Dungeons & Dragons properties like Dragonlance as Queen Takesis, um, who I feel is way better than Tiamat, even though they're the same person. Shut up. Um, so... And then I really would like to see, I'd like to see some cards of, like, some famous wizards on there, too. Like, Leomond or Tasha. Um, I'd love to see a, a Beholder card, like Xanathar's or something. Cool. Um, and, you know, of course, everyone's going to want to see, like, a Dritz card, too, who's, like, the most famous drow elf out of there so those, those are the kind of cards i want to see i want to see some popular characters and some popular monsters too like an owl bear or a Ooh. you know a demogorgon or something like that cool yeah i just don't even know who the majority of any of those were so 
I'm glad you <laughs> answered that question. Yeah, it's um, and it's okay. It comes with just reading the books of yeah. them too. Yeah. Um, cause, cause even like, you know, I I have a lot of the D and D campaign books, but I don't freaking remember like any of the names mm. of them. Yeah, I'm I am excited about the set. I think I yes. think it's gonna be really awesome. Oh my god! But I don't. I, I just I just don't know specific characters like at yeah. all. Yeah. But it'll be fun. Um. Okay. So we have I think one more question. From Baltian. Mr. Baltian. Well, and actually, Baltian asked four questions. So we have four more questions. Oh, okay. man. I, well, I skipped Baltian's question where he said, who are you two? Um, the answer to that is, I'm Pixie Kitten and... I'm Zuby, okay. I think. Yeah. So, Baltian's other questions. <laughs> Number one. What do you want to do with this show that you haven't been able to yet? Oh, I know. Okay. Um, I want to be able to do a live show with us in the same room <gasps> one that day. That would be so fun. It would be amazing. Ooh, like, like, I didn't and, and even do it at like a live venue or something, like a, a magic fest or something like that. Yes. And we could have like, you know couple people there playing some of our games with us <gasps> that would be great yes absolutely that is such a good answer i didn't even think of that but yes that is something you? we can hope to do I, i'm answering yes. the same thing a live show someday of magic i mean te technically this is live it's just i want to be able to like do in it in the person. same room yeah in person yeah 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 which we thought we were going to try to do this year because but ah okay just forget about it yeah, can't. forget about it. Forget about it. Okay. <laughs> forget about it. If we... Baltian's next hey, oh, question. Was the gabagool. <laughs> Has there been any changes in how you interact with the overall magic communities, not the regulars or the Discord, because of the show? Um, I don't think so. No. Changes how you interact with the magic community because of this show? No. Uh I wouldn't say because of this show. Um, I mean, there's definitely been ways that I've changed in how I interact with the magic community since I've done my other podcast, my magic with Zuby. Um, but I think that just comes with knowing who the good and bad actors are of the community too. That, that That's the only thing that I would mention in it. I don't know if it is because of this show, but I think just like as as we grow in the community and just spend yeah. more time, like, you know, it's, we've been almost done this show for a year now. Well, I guess mm -hmm. it'll be like a year in February. I, I think we started or March. Like yeah. I have the dates. I got to look it up. Yeah. Um, it would just be like to sort of look into people before you work yeah. with them and collab with them. Um, mm -hmm just to make sure you have the same values as those mm -hmm. people that you're working with because you're going to be viewed the same way that they are. So, I mean, yes. that would be the only thing that I would say in which I interact with the magic community. I'm just a little bit cautious about who I will yeah. work with. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um. So, Baltian's next question, what interest do our illustrious hosts have that don't intersect? I know a lot of nerd interests overlap, but it can't be everything. Hmm. So what interests do we have that don't, what, don't intersect with magic or... With nerd that, culture? Nerd culture? Or um, with each other? I mean, I don't know. It's... What do you do outside of nerd culture, Zuby? Oh, between the two of you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Between the two of us. Um. Yeah, because like we like we both play Magic. We both play yeah. WoW. Both play D and D. You you play D and D now. <laughs> yes. I think um, that play we... video games. Um... Yeah. I think that we maybe have different. I think we have different. Um, like movie styles i think we don't like the same type of movies maybe um 
What's your, what's, okay, so I'm saying that because of our different opinion about the live action Mulan. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I liked it. You didn't. I, like, yeah, I was severely disappointed. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just think, like, some of the other stuff you've said about movies you like, I'm, and, and they're just, you know, like, you're into, like, the Godzilla movies and. And, um, and I love mob, mobster movies. I love, I, I love mafia type movies. See? I would never watch any of that, ever. Um, I, I think I also have a really big, I don't know if you do, but I also have a really big interest in martial arts um, because I, I've done that since I was a little kid. Yeah, no um, interest whatsoever. And and I'm not practicing right now, but fuck, it's, you get me, I've, I've seen so many martial arts and samurai movies, I can't even <laughs> begin to tell you how many. And, oh my um, God. Yeah, and and I also follow UFC as well too. It's, oh, I didn't I, know that. I, I don't talk about it a whole lot. It's it's really when I when there's some fighters that are fighting that I like. It's I'll be hundred percent into it, but I don't watch every single one though. Sorry, Baltan. Yeah. Throwing Never and Godzilla in the same paragraph. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just not my style. I'm really yeah, so I think those are some different interests of ours. Um trying to think what else it's yeah. i mean i love I, I love reading and I love and writing reading. like i i, I love so like that's not it well it's i also like creating like writing and stuff um okay i'm not into writing um but uh yeah i, I get i kind what, of what about you i like i like knitting and i'm not very good at it but i'll bet you're not into that no, no. <laughs> my mom was a knitter, crocheter, whatever, okay. stitcher, all that. And she could do that for like literally hours from the time she wakes up till she goes to bed. Just oh. knit. Um, well, you also like, don't you do yoga too? Don't you like yoga? I have gotten a little bit out of practice, but yes, oh, okay, okay. yeah, I, I do like yoga. I, I need to get back into it. I've, I've been bad over the last few weeks. I need to get back into working out. I stopped going to the gym like sometime last month because oh. just with cases going back up and yeah. then and then I fucking hurt my leg. Like, oh, ugh. dang. Yeah. That'll knock you out. Yeah. But um, I think that's about it. I mean, I'm sure there's other shit that we yeah. like that are different. But But the majority of like what I spend my time doing is all like <laughs> nerd stuff so pretty much yeah. yeah same with me same with Get me much. um okay so the last question from baltian your normies when it comes to magic what things for fun to pay the bills or both are either of you not normies at baltian i'm a normie at everything okay you gotta understand i am just an all-around life normie okay i'm basic I'm just regular. <laughs> I don't do anything special or very proficient. So. If I had to think of one thing, it'd probably be my job. Yeah. And it's it's something that I love doing. Like, I love networking. And um, it's something I could geek out and talk for hours. Would I consider myself like an expert on it? maybe more than the average person maybe but i'm not like i'm not the end all be all for knowing everything fuck there's still sure, so sure. much shit i don't know but yeah oh i could i could definitely teach a class on it um wow and um That's i pretty proficient I, I i love networking like you don't understand <laughs> i could do a whole podcast on it and just geek out and i i love teaching people the ins and outs of networking mm. That's interesting, for sure. Like, I don't know anything about that, but that's cool. Yeah. Baltian says, you could have said organizing Pixie. I mean, okay. I'm good at organizing things. Hey, and that, that is a skill. It's, you know, what, what's that one? Uh, uh, isn't she South Korean or something? Um, that one lady that yes. does this bring you joy? Yes. I forget her name. Um, I can't remember. I've watched a few episodes of her show on Netflix. Um. I can't. Oh crap! I forget now. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the show either. But but when I watch it, I'm just like, oh my god! I already do like all of this 
stuff. <laughs> so, but I like it though because I see all these people who aren't organized, and I'm like, you guys suck. What's wrong with you? Yeah. So, I I just watch it to make myself feel better. <laughs> Um, Kyoji, Kyoji asks in chat, how long did it take you to make the Soren Bunny cosplay? Um, not very long because I didn't actually, like, make it, sew it. I just put the pieces together. I'm not really a cosplayer. I'm sort of a fake cosplayer. Um, I'm not, I'm you not. You don't make your own stuff or anything? I'm not sewing or... the outfit or the costume or any part of it. I just put pieces together from. Okay, so so you're not like some of those where they spend they put freaking hours right, upon hours like of making they go stuff, buy like fabric and thread or whatever. Yeah, and they're that's really the thing good that would, very talented. Oh my gosh! Like th that was one of the things. Like when I had uh, Zenaid Zebex on my podcast mm -hmm. asking her, like, when you see like a cosplay you want to do, how the fuck do you even think of like what yeah. fabric and material you're gonna buy mm -hmm. and all this time, like, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Yeah, it there's so much to it. And though, like, people who do that are insanely talented. Like, oh, yeah, it's amazing. So that that is why I don't really consider myself a cosplayer because I'm not on that level at all. Like, yeah. I'm just like buying pieces off Amazon, like putting an outfit together. No, I know what you mean. It's... So it's it's not quite the same but yeah. um i think that's all of our questions is that everything yeah i think so yeah that was it um well, thank you everybody for all the questions that was great yeah thanks thanks for asking away um what do we got we've got a couple of games we do yes, have a couple we do. of games tonight okay we are going to play our first game is Turkey or Normie? Okay, these are oh, all Thanksgiving God. themed games. <laughs> okay. And I've got my paper right here. Turkey or Normie? Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm so bad at this. Okay. But I love it. It's so much fun. Okay, so just a recap of this game. Um so I'm gonna make a statement, and Zuby, you have to say whether this statement is about a turkey or a normie okay? <laughs> okay and you have to answer as fast as possible all right all and right and if you get all of them correct then you get to pick an emote to spam and chat and if you don't get them all correct then i win and i get to put, pick an emote to spam and chat okay okay are you ready turkey or normie <sighs> all right all right all right okay here we go okay ready three all right two one, go. Afraid to build a three color deck. Normie. Ready when internal temperature is 165 degrees. Turkey. Plays EDH with updated pre-cons. Normie. Traditional holiday entree. Turkey. Reminds their opponents that they're a casual player when they lose. Normie. Yes, plays with mismatched lands. Normie. Yes. Gravy is made from its fat drippings. Turkey. <laughs> yes. Has wings. Turkey. Yes. Acts like it knows what's going on, but is pretty much scared of everything. Both. Both. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Plays arena events and only gets the zero win prize. <laughs> Normie. Yes, yes, yes. It's portrayed as delicious, but is actually quite bland and dry. Turkey. Yes. You got them all. <laughs> Oh my god, that was great. You got him, okay. You Is there a turkey kid? emote? No. Is there a turkey emote? That would be so No. Ah, uh, let me okay, let me look at the emotes here. Um You have to pick a universal. We are answer. gonna do Oh, we're gonna do panic basket. Panic? Pan Panic <laughs> Basket. It's a basket on fire. <laughs> yes, panic basket. That's how I felt. Like <laughs> Let's go, Panic Basket! <laughs> so many I want to say was actually both. Um, I know, right? Yeah. When, there was a few. When I was putting this together, I was like, 
I was going to I was going to put one on here that was like um has has light and dark meat and I was like does that apply to both? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Don't eat people. So Yeah. I was like I'm not going to say that. And now I have said it, so okay. Hey, Magic with Zuby! Just subscribe for six months. Let's go! Zuby dab, Zuby dab, boom, 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 boom. Thank you, Zuby, for the subscription. <laughs> I got you. Got yeah, you. We, we, we got this. Okay, so turkey or normie. That was um, fun. That was great. That was, that was pretty good. So... Um, and you have a game for us, too. Yes, we are going to play one of my favorite games, Guess the Price. Yes. Bird Edition, though. Bird Edition. Bird Up. Bird, We're going to bird up in here. Okay. So, all right, all right. are you going to share Let... your screen? Yes, I am. Okay. Let me, uh, how do I do this? Okay, yeah. Hit the share your screen button. Do it. Let me share this. Go live. Okay, so you should see my amazing background. We see it. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. The best Zelda game ever made. So let me get uh, the first bird up here. Okay, so hold on. let me go get the chat up here too. Because we also like to uh, get chat involved with this. Yes. To um, help us guess the price. So, so basically guess the price works like price is right where you have to guess the price of the card and you can't go over the price and try to get as close to the price as you can and all the prices are based off of cardsphere.com pricing yes that's the most important part and there are going to be different printings of cards shown as well too um and there are going to be some foil of the cards but I can't exactly, some of the foils I could not get on the, you know, the, the picture of the foil. So I'll make sure I tell you when it's the foil. Okay. So the first one is the Baleful Strix, Baleful Strix Secret Layer promo. Ooh. And yes. we've already got some guesses in chat. We do. Um, I'm going to guess, I really don't know. And I feel like I've seen numbers and it affects my judgment. So I'm just going to say... Um, eight dollars and thirty-seven cents. Okay. I'm okay. typing mine in chat, so it's there too. All right. Anyone else want to guess? So we got a guess from Kyoji, mm -hmm. Slothwater, Baltan, and Pixie. Anyone else in chat want to guess? Yeah, the, and this is this. You said the secret layer one, right? Yes, secret, secret layer. layer. Yeah. Yes. It's very pretty. So. No other guesses in chat here, so I will say mm -hmm. no one got it right. Uh oh. So everyone has to guess again. Everyone in chat, none y'all got the price right. Every all y'all went over. So everybody, try again. Everybody went over. Oh, okay. Yes. So we're way everybody too high went over. Over yep. over here. So one more guess. Yes, too high. Everybody went high. So three eighty nine was the highest one, and that was too high. Yeah, that was the lowest one, and it was too high. So that was yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna right. say two dollars and twenty six cents. Okay, okay. So we got Baltan, Kyoji, Slothwater, and yourself. What about Food Time? Food Time want to try to give a guess? Is he still in chat? Oh no, he may have had to. I think he's working too. He was driving home. He was just listening. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I don't want him to crash or anything. <laughs> no, please. Um. So. The actual retail price, according to Cardsphere.com, for Baleful yes. Strict Secret Layer promo is $3.75. So it looks oh, like wow. Kyoji is the winner for that one. Kyoji. Good job. How much Let was me... it? $3.75. Oh, so the original guess was like just barely over the lowest one. Yes. Ooh. Yes. All right. So on to our next card. Okay. We have... Birds of Paradise. Ooh, yeah, birds yes, of paradise. you 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 win the card, Kyoji. Um, <laughs> so so this is Birds of Paradise, but this is from the Alpha, the <gasps> very first printing of Magic: The Gathering from Alpha. Ooh, so 
Okay. Everybody in chat, give me your guess to how much the alpha printing of Birds of Paradise costs. I said $27.14. So, Kyoji, is that $26,000? $26,000. Baltan, $700. 700? Are you are y'all joking? Okay. Okay. So, out of the four guesses here, uh, the actual we retail price for Birds of Paradise is two thousand seven hundred eighty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. So, Baltan actually gets this one. What? So the closest one. This yes. card is two thousand dollars. According to Cardsphere.com, two thousand seven hundred eighty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Well, I do trust Cardsphere.com. <laughs> yes. Wow, that's yeah. wild. Kyoji, a twenty-six thousand dollars. Probably you. Pr you might be able to get that if you were <laughs> to like auction that off or something. Close. So, wow. that's all wild. right. Next up is I just picked this card because I like the art, the Carrion Screecher from Hour of Devastation. Ooh. This is just the base printing, not a foil or anything. Look at the art on that. It's freaking creepy. That's wild. I'm going to say so this is... 17 cents. Okay. This is just a common. Yeah, it's just a common. It's not a foil or anything. Yeah. I mean, it kind of looks like a turkey, I guess. It's creepy looking. It is creepy. I love the art. So who is the artist on this? It was Tomaz... Uh, Jed Rizek? I don't know how to say that. You got it. Sorry, Tomaz. <laughs> Close enough. All right. What about Slothwater? Slothwater want to try to give a guess? Ugh. Why? That thing has arms and wings. Like, Right? Ugh. Yeah. It's gross. 23 cents. Okay. So the actual retail price for Carrion Screecher is 14 cents. Pixie, you were so <gasps> close. Oh! Oh, so Kyoji uh, got it. Yeah, Kyoji got it. Ooh. Yeah, you were so close. All right. Dang. All right, our next card is from Urza's, Urza's Legacy, Fledgling Osprey, but the foil printing of Fledgling Osprey. Okay. Look how cute it is. It's, cute. it's a baby bird. It's a little baby. It is a common, but it's from Urza's Legacy. Um, and how much would you guess? this card would be i said one dollar and 63 cents baltan says eleven dollars oh wow eleven slot says 56 cents and what about kiyoji here 69 cents nice <laughs> um yeah nice all y'all are over so try again oh Whoa. okay this time i'm gonna say 31 cents oops there we go. Okay. Everyone was over, so try again here. Baltan, Sloth, and Kyoji. Mm -hmm. 15 cents from Kyoji. 18 from Sloth. Baltan, 42. So the actual retail price mm -hmm. of Fledgling Osprey is 44 cents. Baltan, you got it. Ooh, so nice. close. Nice. I know. Close. All right. All right, so this next card, it's not a legal playable card. It is an unsanctioned card, but I loved, love, love, love the art of it. Flavor Judge. Uh, and wh and yeah. what are we going to be judging tomorrow? We're going to be judging the flavor of our turkeys. Oh, heck yeah. So, so this is from Unsanctioned, and the card is Flavor Judge. How much do you think Flavor Judge would be? Just remember, this is not a legal playable card in any format. I said $2.01. Okay. okay. Okay, got answer from Kyoji and Sloth and I Baltan. Okay. Look at that chicken. All right, so it, it's cute. Mm. It's very cute. I like the flavor text. And now they're trying to make a brick wall on my property fight a dinosaur to the death. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. Um, so the actual retail price is 46 cents. So sloth water, you got this oh! one. Nice. I'm, I am just absolute trash today. 
it's okay. It's okay. These these, these are, are a little bit tough. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next up is Gilded Goose Gilded from Throne Goose. of Eldraine, but <gasps> it is the extended art edition extended of Gilded Goose. Art. Ooh, it's pretty. Look at that. It is. So, how much do you think this pretty bird, this delicious bird, mmm, looks like it'd be some good eating? Mm, I'm gonna say two dollars and sixty nine cents. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is non foil, by the way. Okay, non foil. I will make sure to let everybody know if it is a foil. So, all right, we got an answer from Baltan. Sloth, what about Kyoji? Kyoji 3. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oof. So, uh -oh. the actual retail price is $3.85. Kyoji. Whoa! You are killing it right now. Wow. So, so we've only got this. we've only got 4 cards left and Kyoji is in a commanding lead with 3. While Baltan has two and Sloth has one. And I have zero. I'm sorry. Wow. Wah, wah, wah. And, and he's Kyoji's not cheating. Not che <laughs> awesome. Cheating with Arena somehow. <laughs> yes. Exactly. I don't think Arena has the card prices. All right. So our next card is River Hoopo or Hopo. Sure. I don't know how you... um, It is our devastation. So I picked this card. There is a little story behind this card. This is a non foil, by the way. Um, I picked this card because our friend, Young Mage Rhino, mm. this was his spoiler card back oh, nice. back when Hour of Devastation first came out. Cool. This was his preview card. What does it do? Um, it is a Simic Bird. has a 1-3, and you can pay 5 to gain 2 life and draw a card. It has flying. Hmm. It is an uncommon. Okay. And it's the non-foil. Yes, he previewed the he previewed this card. Cool. Is that like a river of blood? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's red. It's it red. Is. It's gross. Ugh. Ugh, yeah. I, pit, I said 75 cents. Okay. So we got an answer from Kyoji, yourself, Sloth. It's totally blood. Yeah. Um, what about Baltan? You need to give us a price. You're the last one. Give us a guess, Baltan. So... Everyone needs to guess again. Y'all were over. Oh, no. Yeah. Try again. Everyone was over. I'm going to say 11 cents. Okay. 15, 18, 11, 13, 18. Okay. And then okay. Kyoji. Um, what you got, Kyoji? Unless I'm exactly right. I don't. 14. Okay. Ooh. So. The actual retail price for River Hopo or <laughs> Hoopo, however you say it, Whatever. is twenty-two cents. So Sloth, you got this. Oh, dang. Sloth Water got this. Nice. All right. So how could we do a guess the price bird edition and not include this lovely bird, Stormcrow? Stormcrow. So before you start guessing, chat, this is the seventh edition foil version of Stormcrow. So. The, the foils in corsets were actually black bordered, but I could not find a picture of a black bordered Stormcrow foil that wasn't oh. like, you know, small and pixel. Uh -huh. um, so this is the best picture I could find. So this is the foil edition of Stormcrow from 7th edition. Y'all really think this costs $50? I don't know. <laughs> 76 cents <laughs> all right so the oh. actual retail price yeah for storm crow seventh edition foil is 14 dollars and 41 cents pixie you actually got this right yo <laughs> Every, uh I, kyoji I... and baltan were way over i pretty sure i have one of these but not the foil version you gave me you sent me a foil on my birthday um i've got it in my that was a 14 dollar card no, no no well no no it was a foil mystery booster one yeah it the, was the, a the, different... those are, the, yeah those are not um those are only like barely a dollar i think oh i have so... an old storm crow though but it isn't foil 
Yeah, the the non-foil ones are not worth very much money. Oh, okay, okay. So the next card is another unsanctioned card, but I picked it because it is just ridiculously cute. Okay. Look at Circadian Night Owl. Oh! He is so cute. It's from Unsanctioned, and he's got Night Lifelink. Damage dealt by knights you control also causes you to gain that much life. Oh, wow. He, and remember, he is not a legally playable card in any format, but he's a very cute knight. Um, I'm going to say 86 cents. Okay. All right, so we got Boltan and Pixie. Nice, Kyoji. And what about Mr. I don't know if Sloth is a Mr. or Mrs., but um, Sloth, 22 cents. Okay. So the actual retail price of Circadian Night Owl is 34 cents. Sloth Water, you, wow. you and Kyoji are tied right now. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Uh-oh, we got a tie. How many cards do you have left? I've got one card left. Okay, so, so only Slothwater and Kyoji can answer this one. Yes. It's gotta yes, be the only tie Sloth. Breaker. Yeah, gotta be the tiebreaker. And this I love the art of this card. So the next card is Zodiac Rooster from Portal Three Kingdoms. Ooh. This is a two one rooster with planeswalk. Um so Go ahead and guess the cardsphere.com price, Sloth and Kyoji. They're saying we should whisper the price. <laughs> just answer at the same time, okay? Ready? Yeah, just just try to answer at the same time. Three, two, one, now! Nobody's answering! Nobody's answering! Come on, no cheating! Oh, dang. Oh, no. Zodiac uh, Sloth gave Rooster? his answer. What, what about Kyoji? 30 okay, cents. Okay, okay, answered, okay. So, so, the actual retail price of Zodiac Rooster from Portal 3 Kingdoms is $9.77. <gasps> so, Kyoji, what? you are the closest one. Yeah, it's it's an almost a $10 card. Dang. So, Kyoji, Kyoji. technically won. Kyoji, you are the guess the card price champion. <laughs> Congratulations, Kyoji! You can pick um, an emoji for us to spam in chat, Kyoji. Yes, you can pick a pick an emoji. Here, let me stop sharing my screen. <laughs> there we go. Yay! So I, can oh. I love that game. That was um, Turkey Edition was great. great. Was so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an almost a ten dollar card, Kyoji. That's right. Yeah, that's wild. That is wild. I was, I was, I was just like, what does this even do? <laughs> Weird. Yeah, there's a bunch of portal cards like that that are expensive because they've never been printed again, and oh. um, and I think they had a low printing too. Uh, so um, Kyoji wants us to do Pock Gengar. Is that a? Uh... Let's find. Let's see if we can find it. Oh yeah, there yeah, Pop Gengar. There okay, it is. Okay, everybody, spam it. Everybody, spam Pop Gengar. There we go. Oh, that's why Ball Tank is there's so little supply. That makes sense. Yeah. That's wild. That is wild. Um, yeah. Well, I think that is gonna just about do it for our show tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah. So once again. Thank you all for being here. We love you all and we appreciate you all so much. And thank you for spending your evening with us. We are very thankful for you. Y'all are great. Um, let's do a little raid over to... Um, Who should we raid? Oh, Michaela. Who should we send Michaela. the dabs in chat? Let's send our raid <laughs> over <laughs> to <laughs> Mythic Michaela. She is streaming some... Magic the Gathering right now. And she's awesome. She is pretty dang awesome. Um, Pixie, are you playing this weekend? I am not playing no. this weekend. 
important. I am so very sorry. But Zuby will be playing Command yes. Fest. Yep. 3.30 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, so check that out. Um, yeah, so we are going to go raid Michaela. Everybody, have a super great night. Thank you all for hanging out. I will see you all next time, friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.